Why do the planets go around the sun? Let's have a look at the solar system first of all. The solar system! The solar system is where we find our galaxy and where in turn we find the Earth. And we find food. The solar system consists of a star, the Sun, around which nine planets orbit. Starting from the Sun, we have Mercury, Venus, Food, the Earth, where the food is. Mars, Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. Oh, it must be lonely there. The Earth is about 93 million miles from the Sun. Pluto is more than 4,000 million miles away. Oh, wow! We're so small! There are also natural satellites that go around the planets, which are also called moons, just like the name of the satellite that goes around the Earth. This is the asteroid belt, thousands of small-sized objects that orbit the Sun and are positioned between Mars and Jupiter. And then a myriad of big rocks and small specks of material that move around, these are meteorites. And then there are comets which travel way beyond Pluto before they come back. But wait a minute, doesn't the solar system end at the furthest planet from the Sun? No, the solar system stretches as far as the Sun's attractional pull. Attraction? Does that make everything spin? Of course. That's the law of universal gravitation. Let me explain. Concentration! The simplest example of gravity is the way an object you drop falls to the ground. In fact, the little object is attracted by the enormous mass of the Earth. And that's because any very big or very heavy object attracts much smaller objects towards it. The Earth attracts a marble towards it that you drop, just as the Sun attracts the Earth. And it's not a question of above and below. Smaller bodies are attracted all around the Earth. Australians experience the same gravity as us. Just like us, they're attracted towards the middle of the Earth. But that means that... It's falling! The Earth is falling towards the Sun! It would fall if it hadn't been moving at its creation. When the Earth was formed, it wasn't static. It had momentum and speed. And this momentum meant it could travel far, just like something you throw. So there were, in fact, two forces. Momentum, which moved the Earth away from the Sun, and universal attraction, which made it fall towards the Sun. And in the case of the planets and the moons, none of these two forces is stronger than the other. Therefore, each moon spins indefinitely. In fact, it's just like a ball that you spin on the end of a string. If you spin it too slowly, the ball will fall. But if you spin it too fast, then the string breaks and the ball flies off far away. <sighs> Goodbye, Earthlings. Why do the planets go around the Sun? Small objects are attracted by big objects, therefore the planets are attracted by the Sun. But as these move at full speed through space, they have momentum. These two forces cancel each other out so the planets spin without falling towards the Sun. 